So I don't know how many of you are playing uh, Legends Arceus, but if you are playing, you understand how addicting it is. I've been wanting to make this video all day, but I just can't put it down. So let me just win this battle real quick and I'll start this video. Easy. Okay, let's get started. What is good YouTube? Tristan here back with another video and today I want to talk to you all about buying a camera because it seems like over the last two years we've been completely flooded with all these brand new cameras and it can be pretty daunting in terms of choosing which one to buy and how you're going to buy it. and not only that but we watch some of our favorite creators talk about these brand new cameras and they have a way of making it seem like you really can't afford what they use. But if there's one thing that I've learned in all my years of being a photographer and a filmmaker, it's not to pay full price for a camera. Now, I've been in the photo film world for over 14 years, and the one caveat to this video is the fact that when I bought my very first camera in 2008, I paid full price because obviously I was new to the game. But from that point on, I haven't paid full price for a camera and I'm gonna show you how I did it. On June 14th, 2008, I ordered my very first camera, the Nikon D60. It cost me about 650 bucks and it was my main shooter for about two years. I shot a lot of shows in my college town with it and some RC photo shoots with my friends. It took me about two and a half years to outgrow the Nikon D60 and at that point I had my eyes on the Nikon D300S which cost $1,484.65. So, what did I do? I sold my D60 for 500 bucks to some dude in my college town, taking my out of pocket cost for the D300S to $984.65 which was definitely more manageable, and I made the purchase of the Nikon D300S on January 21st, 2011. I shot some of my favorite photos with this camera, but by 2014, I was ready to upgrade again, this time to the Nikon D800. If you can't tell by now, I was pretty partial to Nikon, but that's only because I really didn't know any better. The Nikon D800 cost $3,000, and clearly, I just didn't have 3K laying around. So what I did was, I sold my D300S for 300 bucks off eBay. By this time, it had lost a lot of its value, but it was better than nothing. So between the $300 and a couple photo gigs, I was finally able to purchase the Nikon D800 in March of 2014. So I held onto my D800 for about four years and I took some of my best photos with this camera, especially when I got to LA. Now, by 2016, this was around the time I almost completely gave up on my dreams as a photographer. And if you wanna check that video out, you can click on the video in the top right corner. Now in this video, I do admit that I put the Sony a6000 and the DJI Mavic Pro all on credit card, but I was hell-bent on creating this YouTube channel, and at this point, I think I can say it kind of worked out. So for about the first year, all of my videos were shot with the Sony a6000 until I bought the Canon 80D on November 20th, 2017. With taxes and shipping, the Canon 80D cost $1,340.45. So I sold my A6000 for 450 bucks, bringing my total out of pocket costs to a much more manageable $890.45. Fast forward to June 13th, 2018, when I bought the Canon 6D Mark II to use as an A-roll camera, but not a day before I sold the Nikon D800 for $900 on eBay. After taxes and shipping, the 6D Mark II costs $1,647.05, but after knocking off $900 from the sale of the D800, I only paid $747.05 for it. Boom. Okay, home stretch. I used the 6D Mark II for a little over two years for this channel and all of my video gigs, but then Canon announced the R6 and of course, I had to have it. So what did I do? You guessed it. I sold my Canon 6D Mark II for $1,100 on July 13th, 2020, and on August 27th, I bought the R6, which after taxes cost me $3,030.67. Subtract the $1,100 I made with the 6D Mark II sale, and I spent a total of $1,930.67. Side note, I did have to save for that camera, but because I sold my previous camera, I didn't have to save as much, which made it a lot easier to purchase. So I have to make another confession. There's actually two other cameras that I did pay full price for, and that was the Canon R and the Canon C70, but I was able to do that doing my part-time freelance gigs. But I still wanted to make this video to show you all that upgrading cameras isn't as hard as it seems, especially if you're not sentimental about camera gear, because at the end of the day, these are just the tools that we use to tell important stories. Also, one more side note, remember when I told you I put the Mavic Pro on credit card? Well, I ended up selling that and I used that money to buy the DJI Mavic Air 2. 
easy. All right, y'all, that does it for this video. I'm gonna go ahead and ask you to do all the YouTuber things. Um, if you found this video useful, go ahead and hit that like button and consider subscribing. My name is Tristan Irvin and I make videos weekly. I talk about camera gear, I do tutorials, um, I vlog occasionally. Also hit that bell notification so every time I do upload a video, you get notified. And until that next video that's coming next week, I'll see you all in the next one. That's very, very repetitive. I'm out of here. Peace.